let's uh, let's step away. When oh, we come back, we'll that. talk to Doug Drazen. <laughs> This is Talk Radio 790 KVC. The next chapter in the history of the Los Angeles Dodgers has been written. They're back on Talk Radio 790 KABC. Eight hundred two 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 KABC at 651 on a Friday morning, the fourth day of April. Uh, next hour, we're getting some politics. Campaign 08. And uh, the big stories about the uh, appalling high school dropout rate in America and San Francisco coming out of the closet on being a sanctuary city. Oh, that got John's attention. 800-222-KABC. So there's not a writer in town who has not had somebody pitch them their story. In fact, I remember sitting in a steam room at the gym when a guy named Max, who looked like a Max, he had the mustache and he was round and... and uh, he said, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a writer. And he started pitching me a story. And then he told it very well. He said, Max, it's a lovely tale and you tell it well, but it's pretty much exactly the plot of Death of a Salesman. <laughs> All right. And he says, well, let me tell you what Willie, uh, Willie uh, Loman went wrong. He only sold one line. He goes, uh, nobody sells one line. If your line dries up, you got nothing. And he proceeded to analyze Death of a Salesman from a salesman's perspective as brilliantly as I've ever heard the play discussed because it meant something to him. Well, he was pitching me his version of it, the life he led. Well, a lot of you out there, we are in Hollywood after all, have a story. Everybody's got a story. And uh, you say, yeah, you should make a movie about this. Well, now there's a tool that you could use that actually may make that happen. It's called TrueStoriesForHollywood.com. And here's the creator, Doug Drazen. Doug, how are you? Thank you. All right, Doug, how are you doing? Good. Good to have you with us. Thank you. The website is fun, and it is easy to find. It literally is TrueStories, the number four, Hollywood.com. Uh, how does it work? Um, it's simple. You go on, you hit the uh, True Stories for Hollywood, you go on the site, and anybody that's interested in telling a true story would hit their, what they call the tell your story button. And then they go ahead and write a paragraph or a half a paragraph or two lines or whatever it's going to take to get that true story across to the, uh, to the industry. And how does the industry find it and what protects people from being ripped off by a pack of thieves? Oh, uh, well, the industry will go onto the site. They'll hit a uh, their section called Hollywood uh, Media Page, and basically, Doug, as you know, anybody could be. T- Look, Max could have told you that story, and somebody could have heard it in the steam room and taken it. Right. I said, so we have a, 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 a system where we know who comes onto the site, and we track everything. And the bottom line, Doug, is it's true. And if somebody wants to steal a story and not say it's true, it's not going to be that sellable. Well, so yeah. My it, feeling is that when I sold my movie, Fools Rush In, and I walked in to, to Frank Price at Sony Pictures, and I told him the story, he looked at me and goes, if it's true, I'll buy it. And I had to call my wife at the time on the phone, who's Latino, and have her talk Spanish to make him realize that it, uh, I had married a uh, Latino woman, and it was a cultural story. So... Everybody would rather hear a true story than something that's just made up. Uh, we're talking with Doug Drazen. He has created this website, TrueStoriesForHollywood.com. Now, uh, do you ever go on and read some of these stories and say, boy, uh, this person seems like they need therapy? <laughs> well, I need therapy myself, so I'm not exactly the great source. But bottom line is, everybody's story is unique to them. And the twists and turns that somebody might uh, put into the uh, story sometimes seems a little exaggerated. But who am I to say? The, the bottom line is I think the premise and the concept is what happened to them. And as you know, people take things and exaggerate. Uh, there's one story about a guy who, whose grandfather uh, was an accountant, a meek, very quiet, sad-looking fellow, and who apparently he thought died of a heart attack until... The family was doing some research and found out he was one of the top hitmen for a Canadian mob up in Canada, in Montreal. So uh, Now, you've had stories that have actually been optioned yeah. uh, by uh, production companies and studios right off the website. Yes, it's really exciting. We've had around six now since we've launched in February. And uh, from producer of Crash, from a company that had a, a filmmaker that had a film in Sundance to uh, another young filmmaker who had a picture with Think Films, to um, now Universal in negotiations with a uh, producer at DreamWorks on a wonderfully funny 
satire about a guy who has a uh, had a, has has an, a building apartment building is trying to sell it and how he can't and it's pretty funny all right well listen if you've ever had a dream of selling your story and telling your story for hollywood television or movies uh you know where to go now true stories for the number four hollywood.com doug thanks for being with us good luck with the site thanks guys have a good weekend you too all right come on back we're going to get into campaign 08